So my friend set up a giant slip and slide in her backyard. Then you have your own personal tornado shelter. Whoa. This feels a little bit like a porta potty. What do you do in the summertime when all the world is green? Do you swim in a pool to keep yourself cool or swing in the trees up high? Is that what you do? So do I. I make me rosy back from place. I know where I can go where I log to. Is that your microphone? Good morning. Today we are getting ready for day three of summer camp. We're packing lunches and putting on our swimsuits and getting ready to go. Anyway, I have some really good news. Today, for the first time since Janae was born, there you are, that's you, I am wearing pre-pregnancy pants. Okay, they're really shorts, but they're pre-pregnancy shorts, guys. Woo! I'm pretty excited about it because that means my wardrobe just doubled. Like, I have more clothes I can wear. That's exciting. Thanks for listening. So how's summer camp going? Good and tiring. How about you, Elise? What are you thinking about summer camp? Good and the funnest week of all. All right, so here's how the biome boxes turned out. Here's our giant Pacific Ocean box because it's the largest ocean. Here's the Southern Ocean box with some penguins. Oh, I like when you open that one, that's cool. And here's the Arctic Ocean the two layers. I love these. I love seeing what the kids create. It's the biggest ocean in the whole world. It covers 30% of the earth. We are painting treasure. Awesome. So my friend set up a giant slip and slide in her backyard and a kiddie pool. The kids are having so much fun. It is so fun to be wet when it's hot out. What are you guys doing? Oh, is this a hot tub now? All I need is two oranges. All right, so this treat is ice cream, blue Gatorade, Sprite, and Swedish fish. And the kids are having an indoor picnic because it is hot outside. And because my friends are brave. Doritos. I'm not very crafty, so I don't usually go to craft stores, but it's kind of fun to go every once in a while, and I have a few things I need to pick up. I'm hoping that they have seashells. It's lame, we can't just go to the beach and get some seashells, but we can buy them here in the Midwest. There's pumpkins in the store. They're getting ready for Halloween. It's crazy. Look at all the seashell stuff I found. Fantastic. All right, so we're having lettuce wraps for dinner tonight. It's a beef stir fry. So good. And then I'm also doing some honey chicken with it. So we're gonna add these to rice and then wrap them up in lettuce. Hence the name, lettuce wraps. I'm gonna try a tiny one and see how good I like it. He's good. So I'm out shopping tonight for supplies for my turn to host summer camp in a few days and I saw something I've never seen before. Check this out. It's called a survive a storm shelter. You would buy one of these things and you have your own personal tornado shelter. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not gonna shut this door. I might get stuck. This feels a little bit like a porta potty. It's really echoey. I can see how four people could fit in here. 
So anyway, I'm headed into Home Depot right now. I'm looking for some sand. I'm wanting to make some sand Play-Doh. So I need sand. I'm hoping they don't sell the sand in too big of bags because I don't feel up to lifting like a 50 pound bag of sand. Hopefully they're smaller than that. All right, I found it. Play sand. Oh, this does look heavy. But luckily, it's not very expensive. So growing up, I went to this kind of a Home Depot Lowe's store often with my dad because, you know, he's Papa, he's Mr. Fix-It. And I just have great memories of that, like lazy Saturdays, well, lazy for me, um, tagging along with my dad and shopping for things. And anyway, I love those things. Like, I literally can't walk into the store without thinking of them. And as I'm saying this right now, I can't find my car. I'm in the parking lot. Where's my car? There it is. I'm not losing my mind. I should have had like a towel or something underneath that. Yeah, that sand is definitely going to get some sand in our car, but that's okay. We'll just pretend we went to the beach. So I finally got the kids to sleep and Kendra and I are heading out on a date. And I took a shower for the first time in three days. I've been super busy, so but the he, date will be better. But he just me told showering. me like, I need to remember to shower. Like no matter how busy you are, like it does not feel good to not shower. You smell good. Thanks. They have coconut. Coconut frozen yogurt, I love that. This one's a watermelon. So there's so many good options. I have seven different flavors in here. And I can't decide. No. They just are all so good. Guys, I have such a sweet tooth and this is such a great place. Guys, there's cupcake bites in there, and this is hot fudge. Those are little mini cupcakes? Yeah, oh, isn't that cool? Wow. The moment of truth, who's weighed more? Oh, mine's like twice the size of yours. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So I think I overdid it. Seven flavors is too many. My tongue doesn't know, like the, my brain can't register all the different flavors. Yeah, it's just going crazy. So, so I kept it pretty simple. I did a base of cheesecake and birthday cake batter and coconut, and then I added toppings. It's really good. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Amber babysat the kids for us. Did they do okay? They did pretty dang good. Yes. She slept just until now. Yay. Good morning. Janae, can you say good night? Say J has out. <laughs> girls' night, we are shopping. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>